and even on like on the weekends and stuff. Right. I'm right. That's the Lord dealing with you then. You know? And I literally no, real talk, like I literally cut myself off. I told my mom that she looked kinda of looked at me right. right. I literally cut myself off from the world. Bro, and I'll keep it real. I'll keep it real with y'all. I used to be out. We all used to be out there. I was in the streets going to the club. Who was? Just stop the drink. I, was, I couldn't stop thinking you know, about bitches, man. That's that was my that was like my life. Bro, like that was my life. I was. I couldn't keep money in my pocket because I'm constantly kicking it with bitches, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Constantly, man. Just constantly. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just constantly, like damn. It's what just... the fuck? And now I cut it all off, man. Money in my pocket. <laughs> but you know, oh, yeah. it really, it really is a blessing. Though, it's it's a blessing. It's safe. It's safe. When you when you out there with all these serpents and vipers, you are gonna get poisoned. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. Fucking with the wrong people, the wrong shit gonna happen when you fuck with the wrong people. When you hang out with these. With these brain dead people, brain dead shit gonna happen. You know what I mean? What's that old saying? You play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's true. Hanging out with two thirds, that's that's the wrong way to go. Yeah. And nothing but bad shit can come of that, you know? Nothing but bad shit. Yeah. Hey man, it's so many expressions, bro. I got to be cool in here. I'll say a three and one, for behold, the Lord, the Lord of hosts, doth take away yep. from Jerusalem and Judah the stay and the staff, the whole state of bread and the whole state of water, the mighty man and the man of war, the judge and the prophet, and the prudent and the ancient, the captain of fifty, the honorable man, and the counselor, and the cunning artificer, and the eloquent orator. Right. They gonna take away the eloquent orator. You know how they know more for they deep as hell, ain't they? Nate and them is deep. Oh, IUIC and or whoever uh, comes to me, they deep, man. Most high gonna scatter. You know? And the Lord said many are called few were chosen. That's right. You know yeah. what I mean? So a lot of guys, they only care about numbers. You know what I mean? Especially like the churches, IUIC. They just, and they like to take pictures of everybody wearing the same costume. They all wear dress. You seen IUIC? They all yeah. wear purple. Yeah. They all gotta wear this. That's some old, that's some, that's some Esau shit. They're we wearing a uniform. Uh, that's some vain shit. Well, that's vain. What got me on it that, uh, what got me on it that I knew something was wrong is when he was basically saying in one of his videos that, you know, the chariots are going to be coming and every, you know, all the Israelites are going to be saved. Yeah. No, not all of them are going to be saved. Oh, Zechariah 13 going to be saved. Right. Two thirds are going to be But what I'm saying is, that's yeah, they don't I ever do. talk about two thirds. But that's when I knew something was wrong. Like, something's up with it. Like, nah. They there is no two thirds compared to. You know, I never even thought about that, bro. They don't talk about two thirds. Yeah, like, no, right. they don't. And yeah, that, that's, that's cutting off that money off. supply. They don't yeah. condemn me so that's when so, Yeah, that's crazy. And that's when some. That's when it clicked off. By wait a minute, y'all. Because for a little while there, when I was first coming into the truth, you know, I saw some of the videos on my own. That news is wicked as hell. You know what I'm saying? Fuck. Man, if you know what the stuff, they got videos of ex-members talking about how, say, if a woman had a husband, right, but then she found out she was an Israelite. When they go to IUIC, IUIC will make her leave her husband and get with one of them. And that's adultery. Yeah, that's common. I, mean, I, got, I still got the video. That's, common, that's a common practice with this. I still got the video, too. The witness, the actual yeah, they got, they got multiple real. witnesses that yeah, came yeah, out with that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, they, they're, they're, they're sheep and wolves. Yeah. They're wolves and sheep. Clothes. Yeah. That's it, obviously. Yeah. They're making a lot of money doing that. Yeah. But you go to their website, they got all kind of Israelite merchandise you can purchase. They make a merchandise out of it, you know what I'm saying? They got Israel, that garment, how much you think that purple garment? They ain't giving it to you for free. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You see our garments, we wearing, this is pretty much sackcloth. We in mourning out here. They make fun of us, say we wearing curtains. They say we got bed bugs in our garments. That's all right. It's, be it's beautiful to me. Yeah, I love my garments, It's beautiful. Bro. My potato sack, what do you call it? Yeah, I'm reading the spirit, you know? Yeah. yeah. It's the spirit. It's the spirit. It's the spirit. It's the spirit. We ain't here trying to look fly, bro. We can't even afford that good shit. You know? I need it. Look at my shoes, bro. I feel busted right now. Real talk. Look at my beaters. Let me see your I feel, beaters. You know what I'm saying? Look at my old ass shoes. I feel busted. 
<laughs> I got some nice ones at the house, so I stayed there for a special occasion. Uh, you I got all my shit from the thrift store. Right, that's why I mainly get all my stuff. I go to the thrift store, Plato's Closet. I don't have no shit. Hey, you thrift store. You probably supply shit in the thrift store. I got polos, bro. You know what the polo shirt cost? It was like eighty dollars, brand new. I got stacks of polos, two to three dollars a piece. You know what I'm saying? Hey, did you get it? Yeah, girl, right there. Oh, she's a girl. Yeah, that's all right, bro. She's still perfect. She sure is, eh? She still did. She had them big old eyes, bro. Big eyes, yeah. She looked like one of them ancient Hindu demon guys. <laughs> that's a Jacob. That's a Jacob. Yeah, she probably was, wasn't she? That's a Jacob. Yeah, she got lucky. Like, <laughs> <laughs> the eyes. Them big ass eyes. I love them. I love them big eyes. Man. Yep. And his eyes look scary to me. I don't know what you're talking about. I know someone with big eyes. Just a stick in his ass every smoke of my life. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't lying. It's a nurse too. Don't know how to wash her ass. That's a big old eye. <laughs> a nurse, man. A nurse who don't know how to wash her ass. Bro. <laughs> That's madness, man. That's <laughs> <laughs> God damn. Jim, I This is how. Ooh, I got an IUIC script. You want to get one too? You want to get Romans? You got one, John. I'm get that Romans in. Go ahead. <laughs> Well, I got a lot of scripts. Go ahead with it. Jeremiah 5 and 7. How shall I pardon this? Uh, it's like, how shall I... <laughs> how shall I pardon thee for this? Thy children have forsaken me and sworn by them. There are no gods. When I have fed them to... Oh, that's court. another thing about them. There's no God. They always pawn the, uh, the Lord Jesus Christ. That the Israelite united in Christ. We know it says Christ in the King James Bible. But he, the Lord's name is not Christ. Right. You know the Lord's name, right? Yahweh Shah. Yeah, Yahweh. Okay, the Most High's name is Yahweh. His son's name is Yahweh Shah. Yeah. And it's not Christ, it's Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Right. Let me say this. Once you stay in this truth and start getting more comfortable, you'll get more comfortable with saying, fuck Christ. Yeah, but we don't. Christ rep represent another God. We don't even say fuck Christ. fuck Jesus. I used to right. do that. When you I first started teaching, I used to say Christ a lot. Mm -hmm. we after all a while, we all after a while, you like, yeah. you know. I don't, it just messes with your spirit. Because yeah. yeah. we know that's not his real name. Right. So we always push the name. The scriptures say whoever calling the name of the Lord shall be saved. Right. So that name is important. And they don't and they make fun of us. Nate made a video. He said, I ain't never heard of uh, a righteous man that called what did he say? Just use the name of your house out. He said, Everybody I always heard use your house out was wicked. <laughs> they was wicked. Yeah, he, I tell you something. He did something there because he said you can call him whatever you want. Yeah. But then he said if you're wicked, yeah, you can call him, but you're wicked to call me how we just shot. Why right. only use that name for it? Because he knows that's the name. Right. He used to teach that. But but look, and everybody in that congregation all got Hebrew name. But the Lord can't get a Hebrew name. Right. That's bugged out. But I took my mom and I was like, his hair was white like me. I was like, mom, you like this hair. You said you like this hair. That's a no-brainer, you know? It's like, you can't yeah. get that, man. Yeah, I'm like, who the hell are we here? <laughs> it says, uh, when I fed them to food, they then, uh, sorry, they then committed adultery and it assembled themselves by troops. In the oh, that's IUIC? That's a harlot house. You see, they got something called the Daughters of Sarah. You see that? It's some old bug out pro program they got for the women. I think it fell apart. Oh, uh, it probably did. I, think it fell apart. I ain't heard about it. Yeah, it fell apart. They come out trying to look all lavish like they clean. What apart. happened was they started fighting amongst each other, the women. Yeah. When they try to organize, they was fighting with each other. Uh, yeah. That's the spirit. Okay. okay. That's the fight. Gossiping. Yeah. You know? And busy Yeah, that's right. That's, that play, that thing's a hot mess. The scriptures even speak about these women speaking about things that they all know. You know what I mean? Man, we don't deal with women. What are you going to do with it? Hey, 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 he said, I have a thousand men, I only found one righteous man. Now, of those thousand, I found not a single one. Ah! 
that's right. Yeah, yeah, I like that shirt right too. <laughs> it says uh, they were as fed uh, horses in the morning, everyone night after his neighbor's wife. Oh, that's I U I C. They go in there because you know the scriptures say, you know, you know, a man can be saved by the woman's faith. Say, say if a woman is married, but she believes and the man doesn't, he can still get saved through her faith. And likewise with the man and his, his wife. But it's the first man. Adulteries. But but when you go to IUIC, they'll make you if, if you got an unbelieving uh, husband or wife, they'll make you break up and marry somebody within their organization. That's crazy. Open That's adultery. But to the masses, they can get away with that because the masses don't know nothing. That's why the most most high raised up men of the world, few and them, to rebuke them in the masses. You feel Ezekiel 34 and 1, and the, Lord, and the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy against the shepherds of Israel. And pro prophesy and say unto them, you know, what, what else, what are we doing? We ain't trying to come together. You know, we ain't trying to push that, come on, man, let's, let's, let's all unite. Even though we're pushing different shit, come, let's be united. Rebuking them, man. It says, and say unto them, thus said the Lord, power unto the shepherds. Woe be to the shepherds of Israel that do feed themselves. And they collect the tithes, and sometimes, uh, uh, they, I'm not sure if they that was coming. They're taking the social. They're taking more than 10%. <laughs> <laughs> more. Your social security they said, they said when you sign up with IUIC, you got to fill out forms, because they enter the 501c3. That's right, that's right. Why would you have to do that? Why? Yeah, right, exactly. That's great. But they go exactly. along with this shit, and then they call, and then their members come up and call us devils. You know and I mean? forgot who it was, the man that introduced the 501c3, but he said, uh, well, they knew that how Israel is. He said he, he was. Uh, he, he wasn't surprised to see how how, how much uh, the masses of the, the people welcomed the fire of the sea. You know what I'm saying? And they openly, they op it's openly tells you that you can't. Do it. It's your control. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they're not like. They're not, so they, they, yeah, there's laws, they're not allowed to uh, support certain political candidates. Yeah. Shit like that. Certain this, issues. Right. Should not the shepherd feed the flocks? You eat the fat and you clothe you with the wool. You kill them that are fed, but you feed not the flock. They don't feed the flock. They, they, don't. Don't. I, they say you can't teach Hebrew. And really, you know, you really can't read the Bible unless you, you got to study Hebrew. You have to. You know what I'm saying? That's something you get into. No, I really do. Don't teach we, we his name. That. Yeah. Tell but you that's something you, you got to get in the don't habit of reading the Hebrew, uh, reading the scriptures in the Hebrew. Because really, when you start studying the Hebrew, that's when you get a full understanding. I mean, we still working on it ourselves. Trying to get better, you know what I mean? Uh, we always going into the Hebrew. In New Testament and Greek, I, my Greek is horrible. But I know a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know, yeah, right. I know the meaning is a lot of words, but the way that words are found, Hebrew is a lot easier. I think. I think Hebrew is a lot easier. Yeah, but they make fun of you if you uh, teach Hebrew, because uh, we'll go to prove our point with the scriptures by breaking that Hebrew word. Sometimes you got to. You get a full understanding, but all you want to see is talk shit out. Oh, they always going into that Hebrew. Yeah, because it proves them wrong. You know what I mean? What should I do? I'll be a quick Romans 16 and uh, 17. Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause division. That's what we do. That's why we tell you to stay away from certain God. Like you do? Yeah, I just remember it's uh, in the Israelite in uh, church. Oh, my goodness. That's, that's, that's coffee. That's the most high. That's the most high. That's the most high. As soon as you said it, that's what popped in. That's coffee. That's them. You know who? That's them. You know, the, you know the guy, the head of them. It's this guy, his name is Jermaine Crane. That's his real name. But okay, he calls us, uh, what's his name? Uh, Charles the Doc. I think it's Charles the Doc. But he calls himself the Comfort. Because actually, he just got busted by the feds for some, uh, some, some, some money laundering. 
All kind of shit. Huh? That guy is a. But he was a. He said he was a God sent comforter. Cause he said he was the comforter spoken of in John 16. I don't know if you know about the scripture. And he said he was the Holy Spirit in the place. So that the whole thing is all bugged out. So you gotta stay away from them cats. They are gone. Trust me. And we got videos on that channel. The one to the Wicked channel. Okay. You can go on there. You can just type, uh, type in comfy. Okay. You can type in a video of him on there. Uh, we were trying to question them, and they were they were just ignored. I'm telling you, just care. Yeah, come on in here. And they're they're uh, well, listen to this. They just trying to get you in touch. And they were they big on that money. They got this one dude, Kalos, he's a great. He's a former member. He's on YouTube. And he done did like a thousand videos on that church because they did him so dirty. And now he got a severe hatred. But he goes on, they was charging people like what? $500 for the garments. The Passover was like 500 or something. It's something bugged out. They was raping him. Look at this. Romans 16 and 17. Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned, and avoid them. That's why we telling you to avoid people. Yeah. And serious, like we like, you gotta watch these people. It says uh, avoid them. For they, for they that are such serve not our Lord Yahushua Mashiach, but their own belly, and by good words and fair speeches deceive the hearts of men. Oh, excuse me, deceive the hearts of the temple. Which is me. <laughs> it has in my head. It is. They deceive these fools, bro. But they gonna get you. They gonna get you in there. And make everything sound good. Speak some nice words to you. And then they gonna be asking, oh, what you what do you do for a living? Where you work at? Why well, weren't I went to Peraza for the first time? First question he asked me, like, oh, what's your hustle? He was just wondering how you gonna get money. He just wanted, yeah, he just wanted to know how you gonna get money out of it. You know? This thing ain't about money. Ain't it rip? I mean it's about this this some money right here. That's the real riches, the knowledge. But I'm telling you, man, there's a lot of snakes out here. You gotta watch them. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wanna make sure, you know. Like I said, you can't go wrong with GMS. Just watch the Great Busto video. That's all you need to know. It's all about order. And you can't. Yeah, you can't. Watch and skip it from teacher to teacher. So what, you're gonna get confused doing that. Unless it's, yeah. eight, unless it's a great meal right? Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. You know, even sometimes too, like some younger brothers, they might go off here and there, so. I say stick to, when you first learn it, stick to the elders. Stick to brothers who've been in for a long time. It's about like the three pages I showed you. What is the mark? Six, six, what you, that's the first video you should watch. That's Elder Tahar's channel. And the other elders I showed you. Oh, I'm definitely going to check them out. Like I said, the guys in South Carolina and the North Carolina, the Great Wilson, they're the only two that I watch in the middle. Okay. And don't check out the other. Yeah. Boston. And a lot of other. Dallas. LA. And normally what I do is I'll go back and forth with them. And then I'll go like, uh, go through some of the history. And then when I was in South Carolina, I can do it down. And then I'll go back to the other. Yeah. Who's your YouTube channel? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry? What's your channel? I mean... Do you have a name, though? Yeah, it's C-H. Okay. You can make a little separate channel. Once you get founded, grounded... <laughs> whatever. I grounded. <laughs> Once you get grounded in the truth, it's set, and firm. That, ain't got time to be bullshit now. Yeah. But make your little teaching channel. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then once you, once you know the scriptures, you can start making videos. I mean, you can already make videos on simple topics. You know what I'm saying? Because... Yeah, just stick, stick to, you ain't gotta get all deep. That's where a lot of young guys go off. They wanna be all, uh, they wanna go all super deep and then they drown. Right. But you know, you can stick to simple topics. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can prove with the scriptures the Lord only came for him. Yeah. That's easy, that's easy. You know what I mean? They don't, they, they don't take a whole lot of, a whole lot of uh, going deep. If you, if you try to go too deep, let's we'll start talking about falling angels what is your boy? Uh, Flat Earth. Yeah, right. you know what talking about? There's all kind of bugs out of this. Flat Earth. <laughs> Dude's be getting bugged out, bro. I can't believe the dumb shit I used to vomit out of my mouth. I said some crazy shit probably before, too. Come on, man. 
The, it's thing though, the best thing though, when you first learn it, like don't try, don't try to go too deep. Just, just shut up. Yeah, <laughs> stick to the milk. Listen, that's, that's my, that's my, that's my advice to anybody okay. coming into the truth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut the fuck up and don't say nothing. Don't be a busybody on the comment board. Just learn, right? Just learn. Yeah, you should. Everything's going to get answered. Oh yeah, everything. everything's going to get answered. Some things might take a long time. Because there's too many videos out. Everything's we're well, not like before. Now everything gets answered quick. Yeah, yep. there's too many videos. Yeah, yeah. You know, before we. I didn't know anyway, but I'm patiently just waiting for every answer. Everything comes like in. Like sometimes you, some things you might not agree with. Maybe, but after time, mm -hmm. you'll see, oh, oh, that's that's why. Well, that's why that's true. I can't think of another thing. Like it's not in the scriptures you can smoke weed. Oh, yeah. Thing, oh, time. all the <laughs> earth in the field. <laughs> they try to use that. A lot of it's dudes come out of that. It's just herbs. 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 The cannabis play, though, that is a medicine, though. It's, it's a herb. It's a medicine. Medicine. Yeah, <laughs> people abuse it. They yeah. abuse it. They smoke it. But you can't trust the stuff now. Oh, that shit is crazy. I can't handle that shit, bro. I'll be bugged out. Smoke some of that shit, I'll be gone. Ooh, there's some crazy shit going on. The I always like smoking the dirt weed. I got a picture. But it's sweet. You get paid, though. Yeah, you get all fucked up. Shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Uh, wait, well, yeah. I, I couldn't do it as drawing because I'm thinking everybody's a cop. Yeah, yeah, everybody's a cop. Everybody's a cop. Yeah. Hell yeah. no. It was easy for me to do that shit alone, man. It was easy. Yeah. Shit. I don't do nothing now, shit. I don't even, I barely even drink. Shit. Looking out the window constantly. <laughs> I get that up too, though. What is that mean? I mean, I've drank the Westie, bro. It's over. I might go to jail. I was, no, I was the old school. I had to. I was always drinking black velvet. Yeah, yeah. That was good stuff. Black velvet. Yeah, I love my stuff. I like any whiskey. Shit, I made me feel like I was Clint Eastwood drinking that shit. I'm ready to go get it in. Alcohol was necessary. Being all stressed out all the time. Stress will kill you. Yeah. You gotta go. Just want to lower shit. Drink out. Drink wine. Mix. Mingle it with water. Saying, what shall we do to these men? For that indeed a noble miracle have been done by them is manifest to all them that dwell in Jerusalem, and we cannot deny it. But that it is spread no further among the people. Let us straightly threaten them that they speak henceforth to no man in this name. And they called them and commanded them not to speak at all nor teach in the name of the people. Oh, so wow, that's why you I see this. Right. They say you gotta call them Christ. That's right. That's right. And the Christians too, they they words like that too. Israel. They'll make fun of we said, yeah, uh, we can prove his name's Yahweh Shai. They're like, oh that's crazy. They like, that's just too crazy. I can't accept that. You know? But when you go into the Hebrew, you do some we can prove it. You know what I'm Are saying? You guys getting pretty good at the Hebrew? Yeah, we, I got a lot of Hebrew videos the more, up. You know, the more you the more you write it and say it. I need to upload some more. Eventually it's cling to it. My my YouTube channel got deleted. Uh, we had, no there's another brother too. What's that brother's channel? They get, uh, the, uh, the brother from DC? Yeah. His page name is uh, GMS Army Hunter Yeah, GMS Army Hunter 44. He's got a lot of good Hebrew. Uh, he's fluent. He's fluent. And he's probably the best Hebrew speaker of us all. Oh, okay. But my problem was I would get discouraged. Yeah. Uh, it's know, tough though. I mean, you just do it one step, one step at a time. Learn one word one day, next day you learn another word. After a couple, well, Laura Wayne ain't gonna be here for a couple of years. It's, it's a slow process. I know, like, I learned the Lord's Prayer in Hebrew. I used to always say, every, I still do it to the day. I just say it every time, like, before like, I wake up, that's when the first prayer of the day. You do that every single morning, you say a prayer in Hebrew, every single morning before you go to sleep. Eventually, you would really just come to the uh, Stick to it. Yeah, eventually, you just remember it. You really, yeah, you want to learn the meaning of the There's word. There's so many things I want to master, and then it's even like what you said, eventually you put like a video up and stuff. But man, it's crazy though, because it's all I think about all the time. Even just being on you all, like the, being able to actually talk about it. Like, it just makes my spirit. I mean, you make them videos, it gets it off your chest. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
like even just being around y'all, like the spirit, like I don't know, like I feel the spirit and stuff, like it's good because I don't ever really get to talk. That's how we are too. I mean, the only time we get to talk to each other is who else I can talk about this besides YouTube? Oh, That's it. Yeah. They're like, hey, I'm gonna talk to this guy over here. Because right, right. I feel like some people think. Because I feel like some people think I'm crazy. Oh, uh, hey, you are crazy. We're crazy. We're all crazy. <laughs> Hey, that's look, all I wanna, let me get that scratch. At the time, that's all I want to talk about. Oh, I'm proving you're crazy. You know? I'm going to talk to my partner. I mean, there's going to become a time, like I said, you're going to become more balanced. This, you're going to know that time when you're going to have to disconnect from this. Cause yeah. You have to sometimes. Sometimes you just connect. Yeah, that's what I'm about to say earlier. Yeah, you go too crazy. No, when you first come to truth, it's natural. You're going to be crazy. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be watching probably like video after video for like 10 hours straight. That's probably it. Man, no, it's really, really, you know. I, I, still, I still be watching. <laughs> I'll be up till five every morning. Yeah, but you know what I'm saying? You gotta you gotta kinda like slow down a little bit. Don't try to learn too I mean you gotta you gotta learn of course, but don't do it. Don't try to add too much in one time. You know, right. like, let it process, you it's know? like cause you're not gonna learn everything in one day. Yeah. Like me, like I that's something I'll oh, go ahead. But it's just what's the, the race is not given to the Yeah, yeah. And like you read the book of songs, a lot of times it will say Salah. They looked at a word up, it pretty much, it, sometimes it means like, it pretty much like a pause. Yeah. Like a thicker pause. Oh, when yeah. You read, when you read scriptures, sometimes you gotta read, and you gotta sit there and just, you know, just think, meditate upon it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then go back and get read. Once I do one scripture, it's so heavy, you just, I be meditating on like one scripture just for like a, a day, a week. Sometimes it's just one scripture just, just hitting you constantly for like a week straight. You know what I'm saying? So you ain't all about getting everything at once. Yeah. You know, you should try to. <laughs> it's just lately what I've been doing now is like I'm watching. I'm watching people and like I take everything in. Yeah, you learn from everything. Before, I used to, used to like talk all the time, but it's like now, it's like I'm just going to I just sit there and just like, oh, I got a scripture for that in. too. I just take everything in now. I got a scripture for that, but I got two <laughs> scriptures for you. Well, first, this was Ecclesiastes 7 and 7. Surely oppression maketh the wise man mad. Oh, you took. You should take notes too. Did you get you a pen and pad or something. Take notes. Like when I first started learning, I had a whole notebook full of scriptures, bro. I had did you? I had missile scriptures, whole scriptures. You know, I had a, I had categorized my scriptures. Okay. You know what I'm saying? They had different categories, all the different scriptures. Uh, you know, Babylon scriptures, slavery scriptures, Esau scriptures, all the scriptures. So definitely take some notes. But Ecclesiastes seven and seven. Surely oppression maketh the wise man mad and a gift destroyeth the heart. But that mad really means crazy. Because sure, the oppression, having this knowledge, if you a wise man, you're going to go crazy. You know what I mean? You're going you're gonna, to you're gonna lose it. But you got to learn how to control that. Okay. Don't go out just murdering, at least you <laughs> killing faggots. <laughs> no, and shit. I'm just being for real. At yeah, least yeah. you're making me <laughs> No, I mean, at least you're making me feel normal because for, that's like all I think about. I got another. It's constant, I got another. As soon as I wake up, I got like, another scripture for what you said. You said you starting to notice everything around you. This is uh First John, uh First, yeah, First John two and twenty. But ye have an unction from the Holy One, and ye know all things. So, and actually, this word ye know when you look it up in the Greek. That's why it's good to study Greek. The word there for know in Greek is uh, eidos, which means I. So this no really means perception. This really says ye perceive all things. You have that spiritual perception. So we got the unction one from the holy one. So now you can see all things. You can look at this a little bit. I just tell one look at that guy. He's a big old faggot. He probably just got done blowing a horse. I mean, something like that. You know, you can just tell. Or you can just, you, you know how you can be around people. You can just feel the evil like you said you watching a commercial and you can see their their, uh, their propaganda or what's up but you can see all that demonic shit they doing in the commercials they're the subliminal messages they put in the commercial yeah that predictive programming you can just see this shit you can see it's all by design yeah that's that perception you see what i'm saying because you got that unction from the holy one you got you can perceive everything
Ik ga That's a famous scripture. Psalms 119, I forget exactly. 119. Said the Lord is light unto my path and a light unto my feet. But he's got he the one guiding us out here, you know what I'm saying? Actually, we're just all puppets. Actually, we just all robots. The Lord, we're programmed. We, we, you know there ain't no free will in the Bible, right? That, that would bug that would bug people out. Yeah. The conception of free will. You know? Mean there's no free will. I can just kill somebody right now. Did that mean God make <laughs> the most high control is everything we do? You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. It says, For there is not a word in my tongue below, O Yahweh, thou knowest it all together. That has set me uh, behind and before, and thou laid thine hand upon me. Such, uh, see, uh, that was it. Oh, that was hard to do, though. Yeah. That was it. A lot of stuff going on here, you know, like, like the death angels and stuff. That's that's real. Oh, there's some death angels for the last time. You know what I mean? Like that's real. Spirit, they've got some spirits of vengeance out here. Yeah. Like some, you somebody could come up here. Scott, we've seen this many a time. Somebody come up talking shit to us, and then they go down the street. Somebody beat them up or something. You know? Yeah. Probably they don't want to do this out here. Fuck that guy. <laughs> we got in a battle. Hey, it's on that channel. You go back and watch all them old videos, bro. Okay. I don't even know what video is on. <laughs> but it's dude K, there's so many videos. That was on a livelier day. Some videos got more excitement than others, you know? <laughs> and sometimes some crazy shit go down out here. Oh, I believe Especially demons. Hey, yeah. Motherfuckers, real heavy demons come out here. Some days shit gets wild and crazy, I'm telling you. That's another, that's why a lot of guys can't go out teaching. They get scared. People gonna come up and they gonna challenge you. They might challenge you with wisdom, or they might challenge you to a fight. People always, they like, they always wanna take a shot at the title. You know what I mean? Like, oh, you guys are teaching the Bible, let me challenge you to a fight. But it's not that they're mad at you. All right, exactly. And we just read that. I like giving them that word in the world of hate. Yeah, that's all it is. We just gotta remember it's not true. Oh, it's not true. That's the funniest shit ever, bro. When people threaten us with death, they gonna pull. Uh, we, we, one time, this dude pulled out his big ass machete or something. He started, he started cutting himself or something. He wasn't cutting himself, but he was like. There's some weirdo shit, right? He's like, he's about to hack us to pieces. I'm like, damn. You remember that? With the boy, he wore the Pokemon book bag with a machete. I remember the black dude. Yeah, yeah, the weirdos. <laughs> had a well, devil worship. He's like, what? Who they in front of, man? Yeah. And, and one I, day I had I don't realize, I, I, I'm clever as a motherfucker. I'll catch your eye wandering, you're going to get knocked the fuck out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Coming out threatening motherfuckers with knives and shit, yeah. man. I ain't never been a bitch, you know, loud and shit, you know? But we out here doing the Lord's work. Right. You know? yeah. So we're coming in a peaceful manner, you know? Yeah, we're peaceful. In the world before the truth, I ain't never allowed no punks and girls like that. Right. Right. Some people just stupid, man, just trying to test them. Yeah. I know them. I know them well. Just stupid. I had a devil worshiper spit on me. Uh, Straight spit on me. Alan shot the bar. I just took it. Actually, they are. She was like, oh my God. Said, Oh, well, he's already. I'm at. Uh, he's already. Finished. We have seen my other brother. Had, <laughs> you already brother finished. from Texas had pissed on. Come out here, come out here in peace. Right. I you think so. Come out here in peace, man. I see people get tobacco spit thrown on them. Remember that guy? Yeah, guy got tobacco. Man, one thing they somebody threw a whole brick of firecrackers at us. That was somebody threw coins at us. Yeah, they throw. They always fuck with us. But we not out here to fight people. So you see the Lord, they grabbed him up. He could have killed all of them. Easy. Easy. <laughs> Stephen, you know about Stephen? Acts the seventh chapter. After the Lord, he was one of the first ones to get put to death. They, well, they called him the first uh, martyr. Well, after the Lord. But you read Acts the seventh chapter, and he was cursing out all them Israelites. Look at it, they stoned him to death. You know what I'm saying? Psalms 34 7. The angels of the Lord 
can't confirm or not that they're feeling and delivered. Oh, yeah. Them angels is out here. Hey, sometimes you'll actually see it. You seen them chariots? Yeah. Did, did you hear about the, uh, when the, the YouTube went down? Yeah, I heard about and that. When it went down, it was because they said that, uh, there was a guy that was, like, watching it, and there was, like, a chariot that went and that was the reason why they closed it. You know, they turned it off. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah. Very well could be. It hit YouTube immediately. Yeah. You know? People don't be bullshit when the videos do that. Right. Mm. Well, first, I always thought it was just, they just getting ready to shut it off. Mm. That's what I think. Yeah, because that video, so you can still find that video. Yeah. So that don't really make I sense. I think they just getting ready to shut the shit off. Could have been a test. You don't yeah. never That's know what they were doing. But, man, it's going to get to the point out here where... Maybe we'll see people's reaction. How they yeah. flip out. It's going to get the point out. Well, you know, even we have some, you know, Israelites out here, but they think like right now it's cool. But it's going to get to the point where when the truth or the truth is out, and it's not going to be cool anymore. Fans, I feel right. And I feel that's when the Most High is really going to test us. Like, are you in? Are you out? But what it, is, it is like a fad to people. What's the word? But you know what I'm saying? Uh, so, try. It's try. Most High used for try. But now, yeah, when the shit hits the fan, yeah, why would the market a piece? Yeah. When that comes, a lot of people gonna take that shit. They was out here teaching. They might, they might uh, have some life enhancements. Oh, you take this, get this little uh, biological upgrade. We gonna install this computer chip and make you live to be 200 years old. They gonna do it. You know what I mean? Yeah, show the carbon is this part of that shit. Aren't you carbon? I can't remember. It's, something about, it's on Netflix, but something about carbon or whatever. They got the chip on the back of your neck. And like, like if you uh, die, the only thing I do is transfer it to a different body. Woo! You know what I'm saying? They but, try to. Yeah, the only, reason, the only way you can kill somebody is to destroy the chip on the back of his head. That's, you know That's crazy. 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 And then you mix them, it makes them get like, uh, not super hard, but you can like yeah. see it. Whatever. Yeah, you'll give you, be able to zoom in with your eyes like you can on a camera or something. Like, mm. That's just coming. It's coming, I'm telling you. If you get on the internet inside your brain, you just scrolling on Facebook inside your head. But a lot, I'm gonna say a lot of people gonna fall out over that shit. They gonna be destroyed for that. Maybe you got people already falling out, like all through the years. Our camp used to be kinda big. Oh, I'm like, damn, where where'd you go? I'm like, where? You know what I'm saying? They're gone. Where they at? You gotta go back to the world. They didn't need, they need the chip. The hell with the chip? They fall out over a woman, fall out over a job. It's, it's usually the woman. Fall out of the truth. Fall out of his wits. It's usually the woman. Which reason why they stop. One by one. It's either the woman or they get they, they mess their old two third ways. You know? Some motherfuckers come out. Yeah. It was a fad. They wanted to look cool because it was pretending. Yeah. Pretending. Come out high and shit. Nah, we're not pretending. We're crazy. We're going to be out here. You know what I'm saying? Y'all here in the dead middle of winter? Hell yeah. yeah. We, we call ourselves snow angels. I'm in the first snow day. That shit was funny. Man, la oh, last year. So what, the first snow day? First snow I was day. out here doing the moonwalk in the snow. <laughs> this is beautiful. It was beautiful, wasn't it? It was. Actually, it gets a little warmer when there's a lot of snow up. I'll we'll be happy when it's snow. That's just fun. We've been out here for those people. Free tips right out here. Freezing. Like, I don't want to get this weird. I'm just going to quote it. That shit kind of fun. But you got to, though. Yeah. You got yeah. to. Make sure you don't. Man, I can't you be wearing these shoes. You want to talk about brownie points with the most high? Yeah. Shit, man. Go through them cold days. Yeah. Ooh, the cold days. Walk to the that's car. Real. You you, th you thought you lost your toes at the camp. <laughs> you feel like a little bitch. But like, you gotta go uh, through it, man. Go I through can't it. put my tripod away. It's so cold. Those days can turn you into a man. For real. <laughs> For real, man. Turn you into a man. You said below zero. But see, you gotta get out of here. <laughs> but you gotta be wise about it too. You can't be out here for hours, my brother. Yeah, we, that's, we that's, gotta be wise about it. Unless you in the spirit. Cause sometimes you get the spirit, bro. You don't feel nothing. You just be in the spirit. So I've been out here. I've been sick as hell, bro. Like can't even walk sick. But you go out teaching anyway, and you forget that you're sick. But yeah. you get in the spirit. So the sluggard will not fly by reason of the cold. Oh, that's IUIC. All those groups. You name a group, 
they're not gonna come out in the cold, they're not gonna come out in the rain. Cause if it rains, we're not leaving. We just stay out here in the rain. So we done taught, we've been out here teaching in a monsoon. And every there be people out here caught. We go in a bus stop, bro. Everybody gotta listen to us, cause we all <laughs> we all trapped. It's rain, it's raining cats and dogs. You can't like well, you can't escape us. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, the code yeah, kick us out of there. The code of police. <laughs> well, they told you to get out. Yeah, well, I think I was on campus one day. They kicked us out. In fact, I found one of those old videos. It's funny as hell, they are actual police. And they, they used to hate us on campus. We used to teach on campus a lot. We got tired of it. It got whacked. Boy, it, it used to be lit down there, though, back in the day. We used to, man, it used to be crazy on campus. One day we was teaching, they had helicopters on us. They had two helicopters on us. Two. We was on, we was on, That's crazy. We want cops all around. We want bonkers on it. So, yeah, I was in awe. I was in awe. Wow, this is sweet as fuck. Yeah, this is, this is sweet. Yeah. I know I was hot because I'm, I ain't give a fuck, man. Right. Like I said, I was in awe. I'm like, wow, this is sweet. Because yeah. reading in the history books how during the Civil Rights Movement, how the cops would come beating people's asses, I always wondering what that was like. And here we go and through that experience. Yeah. I was like, wow. <laughs> you know, like, man, we want bonkers I'm smiling on that my day. face, man. <laughs> I'm telling you, boy. We was not playing. And the spare was on the uh, We used to be crazy, though. We were a little more. Cops come up asking us. It's a toast. It's great. Really in the scriptures? Yeah. You know, we had actual cops. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, that was about it. You took that question. He was like, happy to hear it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because so, no, that was. He didn't break it down. A great actual but you know, you just can't go break any one. Right. He just, we just said, yeah, it's in the scripture. He just, you know, it was where that, when we're there, somebody called a cop on us, though, right. they just tried to get us arrested because right. this everything we were saying. But the cop came up, he's like, oh, that's the Bible. Oh, y'all good. Yeah, right. <laughs> I said he was a sergeant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sergeant. He's like, no, y'all good. He just walked right away. Sure did. Yeah. They really thought we was going to jail. <laughs> yeah. And then, then we kept cussing them out. We was like, see. No, the thing is, it got to the point they was calling the cops. Cops would never just they wouldn't even come yeah. with yeah. Right, wouldn't even come. Get yeah, the cops know we ain't here hurting nobody. Exactly. The cops exactly. are not worried about it. We don't never worry about the cops. I got arrested yeah. one day. That was probably my own fault, though. I was going too hard. I was, you know what I mean? I was asking for it. And the only time I ever got arrested, I was asking for it. When he got arrested once, that was for the fake. Some Jew, fake Jew bastard came up. Fake Jew? Yeah. He knew when you were in he tried to kill us. You're supposed to be put to death, so really? This fake Jew came up trying to kill us. Because we proved him wrong so bad, we, we just cut him up so bad, he's like, how about I pull a gun out of my bag and shoot you? He flipped. Yeah, he fucking flipped. He flipped. Yeah. He was slobbing and drawing out. Yeah. Oh, we fucked his ass up so bad. And he stink, his spirit stink. That was a fun day. We got his ass good. And see, and you ain't gonna have these experiences unless you go through something. That's why you gotta actually you know what? The real learning, you don't really start learning until you do this. I look, I remember next week after I got out of jail, the next week come out see I ran, I was running to camp. <laughs> I can't wait to get back out there again, man. I actually I was running, man. <laughs> I wanted to see that cop that put handcuffs on me. Never saw her again. Never saw her again. I still remember that bitch, man. Looked like she was from, looked like she was from the tribe of Jaffa. That was clap, man. I wish we could find that video, man. That was a good video. I think it's on Daily Motion. It used to be. Oh, that's another thing. He had his, he, he had his priestly garment on, too. He had a that yeah. witch shit, that red and black. Yeah. They gonna start deleting our videos. Talk bad about Jews now. Oh, that's fake Jews. Oh, yeah, because we're having that, that synagogue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm telling you, they're going to come after us over there. Anti Semitism. They don't even understand that anti Semitism. Anti Semitism. Well, they can say that to the people keep eating up. How come they don't call them anti Jews? I told you last week I got the word.
made a video about it's just a simple video saying that yeah yeah like i just said no because because uh it was a song it was it's about an uh, old negro spiritual song called no more oxygen and i seen it on youtube and i seen the thumbnail and it had the fake jews on top i'm like what the hell is this i had to make a video about it like nobody else lived through what we went through and then I got, I got flat. I never, uh, never got in uh, uh, trouble with YouTube. When I say something about the fake Jews, they want to uh, uh, put restrictions on my page. Uh, After that first flag, what's in the video? Uh, He's out of there. Nobody else. Uh, we, 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 I can't think. I'm starting like a motherfucker. Went through what we went through. Your, your channel that you brought everybody to get to, you're out of there. We got one flag. That's how it started. I don't got a flag. I just got a restriction. It says, it says no, there's no, there's no strike. It's no strike. Oh, the Asian shirt? Yeah, no, I don't know. No, you can't, you can't like it. You can't comment. You can't. The video's still up? Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, they watching. They on you. This is going to be I gave up on trying to keep it. Like, like, oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah. Like, no! <laughs> no. <laughs> like, the process, they, they, they was rejoicing when they got the ass beat. Uh, uh, ass four, I think. <laughs> they, they came out rejoicing. Like, you yeah. know, worthy. So y'all don't even know about that? What happened? That uh, the white supremacist guy went into the grocery store and killed his two white people. Huh? When did that happen? It's usually Israel against Israel. Yeah. Confusion of faces against the so-called niece, niece black. You know? yeah. But it's Israel against Israel. That's all it is. That's know? that part of the divide and conquer strategy. That's right. That's what all that Trump said. Like the scripture says the wicked, Israel is more wicked than the wicked. Yeah. You know? That Trump got these motherfuckers coming out with their real demonics. Great American yeah, spirit. Great American great spirit. American spirit. They're bringing it out. Now they're coming out in the open with it. Yeah. Saying you see more and more videos of jackass white people blowing up on people come out, get out of my country, bitch. You know what I mean? You know dumb shit like that. I man, I've seen countless videos of like you know people get all the, everything on the cell phone video now. This is my land. Bro, you see these motherfucking oh redneck hillbillies and shit out here? These motherfuckers are gone. They gone. They fall for that Trump shit, man. That's good. Though. I, we love Trump, you know, but for different reasons yeah. than that. He gonna bring those missiles. He's bringing the real stuff. Though. He gonna bring That's the missiles. Lot. That's why in a lot of ways, all this shit happen. We making shit happen. Hey, he stopped the, uh, the nuclear arms treaty with Russia. He said he's pulling out of it. They already pulled out of it. They yeah. just officially pulled out of it. They already pulled out of it. That's a, that's a big deal right there. Right. Puke said that was a sign of war. He said that means war. That's right. I think I just, yesterday I seen Puke said get, they're getting ready. Like the one you quoted, he said Russia's preparing for war. And America's preparing a war. Yeah, preparing a war. Right. right, I reckon they got in a battle over the burgers. That's some real shit, man. They pull out the nuclear arms treaty? Woo! That's what we've been prophesying about the missiles. Take the fire. I wish I could be like Kanye. I'm gonna go get Trump a hug. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You see that shit with Kanye? Yeah. Your boy gone, eh? Them niggas is on top right now, but when the time comes, all hell break loose. 
all them stars and rich motherfuckers that got it going on, yeah. ain't no women gonna be flocking to them. You know? None. None. Kanye put up his shirt. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, Blacklist or something like that. That's crazy. Yeah. Nah. It's selling like hotcakes. <laughs> it's selling like hotcakes. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. I'm surprised you don't see him back. Yeah, I'm waiting to see that. He bugged out. He's in the president. He's in the president talking about. Oh, I'm thinking of Malachi. Parallel dimensions and shit. I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck is he talking about? He's really crazy. Yeah, when you text me that shit, I was like, huh? I had to go listen to it all. Because I didn't listen to it all at first. He's like in, a, he's like in another dimension. I'm here. Yeah. I'm like, bro, are you like with the president on TV right now? <laughs> the world ate it up. Here we go. Everybody clowned on him. Malachi 4 and 1. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn Ooh. as an oven. Ooh, the day cometh that shall burn like an oven. <laughs> and all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly, as movie stars, as athletes, you know, Angela Bassett, uh, Madonna, Denzel Washington, you know, LeBron James. Oh, LeBron, LeBron 